My name is Hannah Kesselman. I was born in Germany in 1930. My parents decided to leave Germany in 1933, and we moved to France, thinking that it would be safe there. Uh, eventually, we wanted to come to the U.S., but they did not let us in because my mother was born in Poland, and Polish-born people were not welcome. Uh, I was separated from my parents for four years from the age of eight on. First, I was sent to Switzerland and later back to France where I lived in three Jewish children's homes run by the Ose. When my father uh, was arrested in Montreuil, he was sent to a camp in Marseille called Les Mille. He managed to escape from the train that was taking him first to Drancy and then to Auschwitz. And this was in 1943 when we were finally reunited. Unfortunately, we were arrested by the Italian army who took us first up into the Alps and later they took us with them on the train back into Italy when Italy declared armistice on September the 8th, 1943. Unfortunately, we were under German occupation again and had to hide again. Uh, a Capuchin monk named Father Benedetto, Père Benoit in French, managed to have me hidden in a Catholic convent. And I stayed there until the liberation of Rome on June the 4th, 1944, when my mother picked me up that morning, I found out that my father had been arrested again two weeks before the liberation of Rome, and we never heard from him again. I finally managed to come to this country in 1947, being born in Germany but my mother took many more months to get here. Uh, we made a new life, and I'm married Jose Kesselman. I have one son, Jerry, one daughter, little Cheryl, and four grandchildren. I am lighting this yard side candle in memory of my father, Jakob Ravitch. My maternal grandparents, the Holzers, my paternal grandparents, the Raviches, all my aunts and uncles, and my cousins, who were all killed during the Holocaust. And this is also in memory of my mother, Gisa Ravich, and my husband, Jose Kesselman, who died here in this country.